now from South Seminole Middle School in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Good morning, Hurricanes. Happy Win Win Wednesday. I'm Haley. And I'm Dustin. It's October 25th, 2017. Please stand for the pledge with Ms. Sermeyer. Hi, this is Ms. Sermeyer. I'm the band director and music appreciation teacher here at South Seminole. You can find me in the band room. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with Josh for the weather update. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, guys. Here comes cold weather here in Central Florida. We have a high of only 73 degrees today, and the low tonight will be 52. That's all for now. Bundle up. Have a great Wednesday. Back to you guys. Thanks, Josh. Today is the third day of Red Ribbon Week. Students will be able to be exempt from the uniform rules during these days if you choose to participate. Today is socket to jugs where you can wear your crazy socks. Thursday, the 26th, is Follow Your Dreams Day, where you can dress as your dream career. And on Friday, the 27th, we want everyone to wear red. Remember, if you do not participate, you must wear the standard un uniform for that day. Another reminder that today on Win Win Wednesday, you can turn in your storm bucks at the cafeteria for a chance to win a prize. This weekend, the JROTC will have will be having a car wash at the school bus ramp on Saturday. Stop by the school from 8 a.m. till noon. All donations will go towards new JROTC uniforms and for Christmas events. We hope to see you all there. And now for our teacher spotlight with a story from Mr. Miles, fifth period students, Autumn, MJ, Maggie, Angelina, and Bella. Earlier this month, we visited with Chief Jackson and his JROTC leaders. The chief told us about their training. We here in the JROTC Battalion, Hurricane Battalion, our training is more of a hands-on training. Hands-on meaning actually showing the cadets how to do it. And then, through repetitious training, we do it together by the numbers. When I was young, I guess around 22, 23, I really thought I could outrun a bullet, but now that I'm old, I might get shot now, so I decided to retire. The chief said he loved to travel outside the country while on active duty. We asked him what inspired him to join. I'll be truthful. Coming out of high school, I received a basketball scholarship at Lake City Community College to play basketball. After my second year there, there was a better basketball player that actually took my scholarship. And I didn't want to return back home, so I decided to basically join the Army to kind of pull myself out of a hole. I was really financially broke, and I wasn't about to go home. So the Army was the quickest way to uh, kind of relieve me of the financial burden from college. And I actually loved the Army. For those who didn't know, we also asked him about what JROTC stood for. JROTC stands for Junior Officers Reserve Training Corps, J-R-O-T-C. His love of the Army turned to a love of teaching, and he spoke to our principal. Two years ago, Dr. Coleman Baker and the staff gave me the opportunity to come in and teach R-O-T-C. We started as a part-time program, and throughout the demand of cadets wanting more of a J-R-O-T-C, Dr. Coleman Baker uh, told me if I could raise the numbers to a certain number, and I believe it was 65, that we can go full-time JROTC. We achieved that in two weeks of the first year. So really, since I've come aboard, we have grown this program from a part-time program to a full-time JROTC five days a week program. We asked him, what made you choose JRTC? After retirement, I wanted to give something back to my community. And what more than giving back to the community is helping out the youth. The youth today needs a lot of guidance. 
And I am fortunate to be here at South Seminole Middle School where we are grooming leaders. The JRTC Battalion here at South Seminole Middle School, we do just that. We're grooming leaders of tomorrow. Reporting from Portable Number 3, Autumn Kimball, South Seminole News. Thanks, Autumn. Look for more teacher spotlights in the near future right here on SSM. Boys, ba boys Basketball Open Gym is open to all 6th, 7th, and 8th grade boys starting Thursday, November 2nd, and again on November 9th. You can sign up in Mr. Alt's room this Tuesday, October 31st. The first 30 boys to sign up will receive a par parent permission slip. You must return that permission slip to Mr. Alt to gain entry into the gym. In other basketball news, on Wednesday, November 15th, SSMS will have another charity basketball event against the Castleberry, Castleberry Police Department. This was a big success last year, and we hope to see everyone there again with their canned food item as your price for admission. Please see Mr. Alt for any canned food donations or any questions about the game. On November 14th, SSMS will have the Seminole County Teach-In 2017. Attention parents, community members, and friends. We are looking for volunteers to teach at least one, to teach at least one class in this community-wide effort. The Teach-In is a perfect opportunity for parents and business leaders to talk to students about the community around them. Please talk to Ms. Mafus if you have any questions or potential guest speaker ideas. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after this. veterans suffer through substance abuse, while 50% suffer through mental illness such as PTSD. Nearly 10 million veterans are over the age of 65 and 12% of them make up the homeless population. There are almost 40,000 homeless veterans in the USA. We would like to raise awareness and acquire blankets or money to those in need. Please turn in by the 25th to Ms. Ellerby in room 224A. Thank you. Welcome back. We just ran a commercial for a very special cause that we want to repeat again for you. Miss LLB is collecting spare blankets to give out to the homeless ve veterans and to raise awareness for those in need. Please drop off blankets or any financial donations to room 224A by today to Miss LLB's class. Attention students and teachers, on November 26, October 26, after school, we will have the Fall Festival. Students are $3 and adults are 4 Pick up permission slips from Mr. De Jesus in room 204. And now we take you to Ryan for the daily report. Hello, Ryan. Good morning, guys. Today's lunch special is chicken parmesan, spaghetti, and broccoli. Their school uniform for Thursday, October 25th, is a red, white, or black polo shirt with khaki pants or a skirt. A reminder that girls cannot wear leggings without them being under black khaki mid-thigh shorts or a skirt. Also, students can only wear jeans on Friday. There are no exceptions. Teachers should report any uniform issues to Mr. Motley. Remember, Red Ribbon Week continues tomorrow. If you don't dress up, you must be in uniform. That's all for now. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ryan. Congratulations to the 6th grade Lighthouse students who raised $110 for the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Students who participated in this received a coupon to participate in a pink out on October 31st. On this one and only day, they will wear pink instead of the school uniform. Finally, on Monday the 30th, there will be cross-country practice from 4 to 5 p.m. Please see Mr. Rincon to pick up your physical forms in room 240. 
That's all for today. Make sure you check us out on Instagram and YouTube at South Seminole News. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, please like the South Seminole Middle School and PTSA Facebook pages for more information. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Haley. And I'm Dustin. Have a great Tuesday. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to storm. storm.